Yes guys, and welcome from me, Challenge Manager 0102, the 7-Up Challenge, Part 12. Fuck knows where this is going to finish, to be honest with you. Um, so what I thought I'd do today, or whilst I had a bit of spare time, we'll fire up the game, and we will have a few continues. Uh, I'm not quite sure how far I've advanced since my last update. I don't think I've updated uh, massive amounts. In fact, I'm pretty fucking sure if I've, if I've updated at all. Um... No, I don't think I have, have I? So, let's get straight into a few updates. Um, a few continues, shall I say. So, we started, well, now, it's funny, right? Because, oh, you, oh, I thought I was injured. Right, so, can you remember when I did the four-hour stream, right? Yeah. I believe, I need to, but I could check this, but just, but I have to look at, three teams made it into the Champions League from Germany. This season, four teams made it in. And, and you know, I'm, and I'm, start, I'm doubting myself and shit. But then something happened on the ODB yesterday with England, where it said three, but it did four anyway, which is what I thought it would be. But it said three, that it was going to be three. Has anybody ever come across anything different, you know, with the, um, the number of spaces? All oh, right, OK. So we are at the start of our Champions League campaign. Willem... Against Hanover. I'm guessing this is Hanover's first ever appearance in the top tier of European football. I'm guessing. And Stuart Roberts. Now, does anyone know who this guy is? He's obviously not a regen. Stuart Roberts, who I picked up, was it last season? For nine and a half million pounds. Um, so, was pissing about. That's what I was doing. I was pissing about, looking at a formation, thinking, should, should I try this? Should I try this? I'm not going to. Because, um, I don't know, that, that uh, PX, PXato, I don't think. Talking of PXato, right, a big thank you. There was a couple of you guys who pointed out who he's definitely the region of, which I didn't know. Uh, Bebeto, which I didn't realise whatsoever. Um, I did have this new thing in my head, though. I did it on one of my other games. Uh, I'll show you what I want to do. I did this on my ODB game yesterday. I want to do that, and I want to do that. So the reason I was doing, that, I've done that, is because the three defenders, one of them, Pruton, is a defensive midfielder as well. So he goes to support Sprockel. Karagunas is technically an attacking midfielder, so I want him to be able to go forward. If I move, if I put a central midfielder on like Donati, then I'll take the arrow off. It may well just be fuck all, to be honest with you. Uh, Karagunas. That being said, is ninety four percent, and Roberts is ninety three. Do I risk a ninety three and ninety four percent? That's a fucking big one. Uh, did I show you this guy that I brought? Uh, Kutuzov, I'm sure I did. I'm sure I showed you him on the previous. Um, let's just see who the right winger is. I haven't got another right winger. Well, I have, but just for Gronkia. Do you know what? I think I'm actually going to put Gronkia in. And I think I'll take Karagunas out as well. Uh, and I'm going to play Kutuzov. Although I think Kutuzov is more... I think Kutuzov will play better uh, where I've got uh, Munez. Uh, just quickly, so I might have pointed this out in the previous uh, video, apologies if I did. So that is not, and I repeat, not Raul Regen. Uh, I think it was Ross Horn who pointed out that it's not, and I should have worked it out myself, but that is not Raul, but I don't know who it is, and I can't find any traces of who he is. But more importantly though, the ironic thing is, the real ironic thing is Raul is not in the game, so he's still retired at 30 odd years old, which don't make sense. So fuck knows who he is. Uh, let me remind you of a certain player I've got going up top today, uh, Romario Regem. Um, I just think we're going to get better from him than what we get off uh, Pavia. Uh, Mark Hughes Regen is still waiting there. We've got Mido. We brought in Shane Tolley. Uh, Rossini, we've got him on a Bosman. We've got a, certainly got a good squad, no doubt about that. Rossini may come in, but we've got to, we've got to do something here. We've got to have a good enough start to our Champions League campaign. Don't think we've got a really difficult group. Anderlecht, um, Innsbruck, as well as Willem. We are leading... Oh, fuck off! Oh, you motherfuckers. I swear they know I'm doing commentary on it. They know I'm doing commentary on it. And that they're testing me. I swear, right, by the end of one fucking video, I get an additional grey hair because of the, uh, the disallowed goal. Okay, this is a um, bit of a shit first half, to be honest with you. Um, I need to see something from Melito. Look at Melito. Four games, six and five. You raise so much expectation on a player. That, oh, come on. 
You put so much uh, expectation on a player, you almost give yourself a little bit too much pressure. Uh, let me know what you think of this guy and who the fuck is a regen of Colin Rose. Got him on a, uh, I think he was unprotected contract. And you've probably seen there who I've got in goal. If I'm truly honest with you, that's where I think I fucked up a little bit. I think maybe I should have invested a lot of my, my money in a more world goalkeeper. Um, okay, this this isn't really good, is it? Everton can come on. And Rossini is going to come on as well. Two to eight. We're dominating it. We should be fucking winning this. As we enter the last couple of minutes of the game. Oh! It's always nice when it's a substitute as well. It makes um, that decision to sub him on more inspiring. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Um, I would say Anderlecht will be the, the strong team in that group, uh, along with myself. So the fact that they lost is great news. Do you know, this is really fucking me off. They keep, everyone, they keep bidding for all my fucking players. And I wish they'd just fucking do one, to be honest with you. Yeah, we've got no money to spend. Um... All oh, right, we brought a couple of youngsters in. I forget that they don't go to the... Um... Right, uh, and the reason I brought these youngsters in, they're, they're shit. They're, as you can see, I, I did a youth scout. It's because I want some more um, squad depth. We've got some more there. I, I need some more squad depth. Um, stop players getting unhappy. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully those two will come through as well. So we're off and running then. Um, somebody asked me, will I see out the season at Hanover? Well, who knows? I ain't going to say, I'm not going to lie and say, yep, yeah, I'll definitely see it. I think I, I was inevitably always going to be doing 18 months, which is what I've done so far. I was always going to be doing that. There's no doubt about that. I had to win the title. I couldn't, you know, leave. Unless I felt I didn't have a, a chance, but my squad was being built. I mean, I built my squad rapidly for the start of that uh, previous season. Fuck off. I don't like doing what I'm doing now, but it's the only way I can sort of like fend them off. You know, you give me a, a stupid offer, like 38 million. And the same with him as well, because no doubt you're going to keep fucking bid, bidding for him, aren't you? 39 million for him, please. It really, really pisses me off. Um... For those of you that have played the ODB years and years and years, uh, particularly after the first couple of seasons, the £100 million bids do come in, uh, particularly from the German clubs, because I think that's where a lot of money is based. Um, so do we make many changes here? Uh, Everton 7. Kutusov 7. Gronkia 7. Right, OK. So they weren't brilliant, were they? Um... They certainly weren't. So, Munez, right, well, you can stay on. Who did I have in the middle of the park? It was Karagounis, weren't it? So, Karagounis will return. Um, Roberts will return on the right. So, I think we will play as is. Uh, what did Melito get just then? I forget. He got a seven. It's just not fucking good enough. It really isn't. Uh, who the fuck Stuart again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just some shit. Uh, so, you may recall, that is Tony Adams' regen. But he's going to have to fight for his place, no doubt about that. Gareth Barry doesn't, he's not brilliant, is he, Gareth Barry? Um, Antico, do we know who Antico is? And I thank Gary Johnson for this because he reminded me that he'd have uh, retired. Uh, that is, yeah, of course it is, it's Paolo Maldini. And I'll tell you who else I found, right? Right. So I believe that that is Zola. I don't, I'm not too bothered. I'm. I don't know who that is. <laughs> so I've just wrote wow. The reason I've wrote wow is to remind myself if I've got the money. Uh, that I'm pretty sure is Seaman. I'm not 100%. But I have found another player. And he's clearly not interested in me. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's him. But I could be wrong. Balance 16, 17. I'm sure he's a 16, 17. That's back to Stuta. Um, so he's on my... Um, he's on my uh, to buy list. Particularly that he's worth so little. Um, we'll keep an eye on him. Okay, are we ready then for the next league game? What did Pruton get? Pruton got me an eight, you see, that's important. But I do want to make one change. Have we got a defensive midfielder? Uh, yeah, because just in case Pruton was to go off, uh, well, we'll see. So Stewart is on the bench. Here we go then. League match number four, Rostock. You'd fancy us to win this, wouldn't you? You would fancy us to beat Rostock. 
Uh, I'm in the kitchen, so I, I'm nosy when I see people walk like right past the fucking house. Karagunas. See, Karagunas, right? I mean, me and Gary have had this discussion what a great player Karagunas is. And uh, I'll just finish the half, actually. And Karagunas, right? I, he became available at Leeds. Fucking bargain. And look at the game. I, I weren't 100% sure if he would make the, uh, make the starting lineup because of his age and shit. But what a fucking player. Absolute brilliant. Okay, let's uh, look at the bench. Uh, Sprockle. Okay. Pritton, ironically. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do then I'm going to take them both off and because Donati is not a defensive midfielder he's a midfielder, I'm going to give him the arrow going into midfield that's that's my my method, shall I say I thought about it when I was um, playing my ODB game yesterday actually, or yeah, yeah, it would have been that, because I had such a long stint on, the, on, uh, on another network game 3-0, there you go, job done and Little Mushy scores the third goal. Mushy is a nickname for Matthew Everington because he was born locally to me. That's the only reason I know that because he was an ex-Peterborough player before he fucked off to Spurs. Fuck it, Melito. Melito, six again. I mean... I don't want to be... Either way, we got the victory, which is important. Uh, more importantly, though... I am going to make a change though on something. No, I'm just going to swatch, switch these over. I need Melito to justify his value. I mean, Curtis did well. He got me an eight, but I'm moving Curtis onto the left side. Pruton's got a start in the middle. No doubt about that. Yeah, you've given it. Of course you have. Oh, that's that young kid, isn't it? Right, okay. Hopefully it'll stop players being unhappy about um, lack of depth and shit. Okay, so we're back at work tomorrow, so I'm making the most of today and getting my videos done. And Right, okay, right, let's just stick him in. Yep, there you go. And that's another youngster, isn't it? I'm so fucking nosy, and I? Right, okay. That should sort out the... Um... That should sort out the, uh, the, the depth bullshit. Okay, so just focus now on Rossini, got me an 8 in the first game. Uh, the Romario regen... I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Romario. I'm going to rest you for this next game. I'm genuinely going to rest you for this next game. Uh, Rossini will be... Oh, do you know, I'm seeing loads of kids, and I'm thinking... The fuck? But then I realise one of my own daughters is off school today because of the strike. That's why. Fucking noisy, no, noisy bastards. Right, so I'm. Um, <sighs> Romario is just not doing it for me. Um, it's hard to know where to play him on my setup. Out and out or just behind? Naturally speaking, he's an out and out striker, isn't he? But, right, okay, so. I think Karagunas is going to play again. I think. Okay. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Curtis keeps the armband. I need to see uh, Melito do well. Pritton, 1-0. There you go. This is what I'm talking about. A rebound there. I saw the rebound. Munez, I think he's my number one penalty taker. There you go. This is what we like to see. A standard... Standard performance, dominating the game and taking control of it. I don't, I can't put Melito in the middle because he's not a DMC. If I'm using that new mentality, so I need to hope that he he performs uh, on the other side where I've shifted him. Is that cranky? I remember him. Fuck me, that's going back. Okay, here we go. So he got me an eight, and Curtis got me an eight, which is great to see. Absolutely fucking great to see that is. Uh, Rossini got me an eight. Didn't score, but. Eight is good enough for me. Okay, great result. Anderlecht two, Willem two. That's a good result. Um, so we are... Why are you unhappy? Oh, fuck off. Right, a trip to Dortmund. A trip to Dortmund. I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll play till, till that Anderlecht game. We'll play the Anderlecht game. And then we'll have a, and then we'll uh, we'll end the video at that point. Uh, he's not going anywhere. I mean, how many more fucking times must I tell you? 
I'm not going to sell fucking senior players, key players like that. Um, okay. Here we go then. Borussia Dortmund. I think we need to keep an eye on the uh, job information because from the chapter perspective, you know, we've got to be... Re right, Sprockle. Ooh, right. So one thing we haven't really got a lot of depth of is defensive midfield. So whilst Pritton can go there, I don't like to do this, to be honest, because I think he's more naturally striker, but he is a defensive midfielder of the game. Uh, Davies is starting. I mean, even... I mean, maybe even uh, Donati. Donati could, could play at Grant, which is the Gascoigne region, of course. Okay. That'll be the only change. Davies. You need to do something, Davies. I need you to do something really well for me. Uh, what did uh, PXI? 786. And Munez, 775. That's what we like to see. Uh, yeah, whatever. Big, big game. Let me remind you, these guys got back-to-back -back, uh, titles before we arrived in Germany. And Mushy has scored. Eight minutes in, Matty Everington. And as I said, uh, who was it? Was it Mike Evangelou who said? Was it him or somebody else said about uh, you should get Everington because he's an assist machine? Not so much the assist machine, but he's certainly a good performer. And we are doing well. There you go, Karagunas. That's what we like to see. No half-time changes necessary. <laughs> Fuck you. Bang goes the fucking clean sheet. Don't you just hate it, yeah? You're two, three nil up and then they score. You, you, oh, for fuck's sake! And that's another reason why! <sighs> 81%. I mean, what the fuck is 81% all about? Why don't you just put me out of my fucking misery? Okay, hold my hands up. Hold my fucking hands up there. Um, Colin Rose comes off the bench again and scores. Okay, um, Andrew Davies got me a seven. Everton, right, okay, so... Okay, I, I'm a little bit speechless. I'm not going to say sorry because my pride won't let me. Okay, so we are now taking on Anderlecht at home. We rescued the victory there. So, Anderlecht at home. And we are, we're looking good, aren't we? We're looking fucking good. Let's just take a look at something for a minute. So, Herta, Kozlozana, Achen. Right, yeah, so. Oh, yes, shit. Did I even point this out in the previous video? That we got knocked out of the League Cup. I might have already told you that. We got knocked out to HSV on penalties. Uh, and the reason we were so shit on that, right, is literally look at the percentages on these players. Everybody was absolutely fucked. No excuse because theirs were fucked as well. So we lost on penalties, right? Because uh, we qualified for it. And um, in the final, HSV beat Bayern Munich on penalties. So talk about a boring League Cup. I think, I think that cup's cup fucking shit anyway. I wouldn't call it a league cup anyway. I'd, I'd, I'd call it something different. I'd get it, give it a sponsor if it hasn't already got one now. Okay, so... What we'll do, let's play this game. Any changes? Okay, well, Sprockle's going to return. I think that's going to be the only change, isn't it? Everton, Caragunas, Roberts... P extra Rossini. Rossini got another eight. Okay. Um, Roberts. I can't. Rose can't come in. I mean, maybe Everton. Yeah, I think maybe Everton is going to be the obvious one for uh, Rose. If we're giving Everton a shot, but I'm not going to put Everton as. Uh, so who's sub seven? Who's gonna put a sub seven? Pavia. Okay. Let's go. Hanover, Anderlecht. I don't think they've. Oh, look who's playing for uh, Anderlecht. And he's injured. Why? Why take that risk? I hope Boomer goes off injured. I really do. 
Okay. That's what we need to see. Okay, we are looking good. We are looking good. Sprockles coming off. Donati. Okay, the arrow goes on. Hanover, one. Anderlecht, nil. Fuck you! Eight shots to three. Oh, come on! <sighs> Fuck's sake. Rose as well. Rossini. Okay, job done. Uh, Melito. Just when I thought he was picking up a little bit. Uh, Piexito did really, really well. Um, Rossini, another eight. You keep that going. An eight from Donati. He's pressing for a starting berth, but he's not going to put out Caragunas, is he? Let's be honest. Um, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh! Oh! Is he, I bet he's not even interested in me yet, is he? Of course he's fucking not. Fuck that. Let's just offer him. He ain't going to fucking join, is he? Right, okay. How long is he out for? Two weeks. Of course he is. Um, well, I think the only positive to that is that um, he got an eight. R Rose is going to start on the right. We've got Gronk here. Um... Okay, we've got no one on a sub seven then. Okay, I think that's all okay, isn't it? Home to botch right, okay. Uh I'm thinking actually now. Hmm, what should we do? One more game? What do you think? One more game? Go on then. Just one more game. Yeah, brilliant. That's quite interesting. So we got right, okay. That's good to know. Just check our money. Okay. That is great to know. Right. I'm waiting for some fucking communication. read this text, a really important text that's caught me a little bit off guard here actually, and I'm going to need to respond to it, okay I'm a little bit thrown off, I'm truly honest, I'm, I'm really thrown off and I apologise because I've just read this really important text from my previous employer Um. alright, okay okay, let's play this game shall we, fuck it um, I'm going to play it easy actually, particularly on a home game, I'm not going to play these 96%, so we'll take out both of our attacking midfielders on this, because we've got the, uh, we've got the talent to replace them with, and that is definitely um, Maido and Kutuzov, they, they can both play can't they, so Maido, Kutuzov, and we'll put Shane Tolly as a bench boy for this game, yeah, we've got every chance in this, it's rock, rock and roll. seeing lots of yellow cards. I know it's only two, but I don't like seeing yellow cards. Mm, not going to bother making any changes, I don't think. I don't think we need to. It's been a disciplined performance. Melito, eight. And it's a victory. Melito, okay. 
five. Rossini again. Another eight from Rossini. Okay, well, you keep that going. Um, six wins out of six then. Let's just get to... Uh, is that a full program? Do you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I always do this, don't I? Fuck it. That's a full... Let's get to the Wednesday's League game. Fuck it. Um, I need to go back to that last game, actually. Because I need to just check to see how those uh, forward line forward players. Rose got me a seven. Could still got me. A, nah, they all got sevens, didn't they? You, you know, you want these players to. Um, you want them to get. Eight. Oh, you fucking bastard! And he hasn't. He hasn't got a release clause. What a wanker! I wrote a dash after Batistuta because I'm not 100 percent sure. In case you're wondering what the dash is after Batistuta on notes. Um. The great thing is, if I was to get him, he'd be under 20, so he could go straight into a Champions League squad without the worry of having to name him. Okay. Um, okay, so I think what we need to do here then is change these over. Yeah, these guys will return back. I think we'll leave both of them out. The substitutes, yeah, Tolly, Donati, Pavia, Pinto. Right, okay. Let's just uh, have a check on... Yeah, so Rose on the right, Evans on the left. Okay, looking good. Happy with that. Melito, I'd like you to get me an eight in this next game, please. Um, please. Okay, here we go. Match number seven. Can we get another victory over a big team? I say big team. Maybe they're not what they used to be, but they're still a big team. Um, last season, if you recall, we went to Bayern Munich. I think we won 4-0. Something stupid. Which... Pretty much told me where I was at. Um, you know, it, it, it cemented where, I, where where we were at, what we'd become. Rossini. Come on! I'm looking at Sprockle coming off now. Um, I'm going to take... Okay, we're going to make a, a triple change. And we're going to give Shane Tolley a little bit of game time. Good old Shane Tolley. If our goalkeeper gets injured now, we are fucked. Because <laughs> I've made all three substitutes. Which is a stupid thing to do, in, in all honesty. It's, it's, it's a daft thing to do. But you almost, you almost want to give players some game time and you do what you can to get to it. Final score, Hanover 2, Bayern Munich nil. Melito 7, okay, Rossini, that is a fucking fabulous scoreline, and that is a fabulous way to end our session. Um, seven straight wins out of seven, three wins out of three in the Champions League. We are looking good, we are looking very, very good. Um, what was our uh, attendance there? 40,000. So, really pleased with, um, really, really pleased with that. Let's have a quick look at job availabilities. Uh, Wrexham, do we want to go to Wrexham? Do we fuck? Um... Deportivo, again, is it, okay, um, so that's where we're at then, uh, the 7-Up Challenge continues, uh, if you want to know anything about the challenge, anything you want doing on CM, do let me know, and until next time from me guys, take it easy.